Living the American Dream presents 12 Words of Wisdom for Life. The secret to living the American Dream is to learn and remember the important lessons taught by life. Here are 12 Words of Wisdom for Life that will help you live your American Dream. Words of Wisdom for Life number one, you are what you think. When you create a thought, you are creating a mental blueprint for your future. To create the future you truly desire, you must focus your thoughts in ways that move you toward success. Each time you reflect on a positive or negative aspect of your life, you are creating a mental blueprint. This blueprint becomes your set of lessons for life that your mind will follow as you live your life each day. Your energy, your creativity, your mental focus are all concentrated on that thought pattern, whether it be negative or positive. Each judgment you make and every decision you consider will be based on the lessons for life you record in your mind and how you color them. These mind prints set a pattern or course that you teach your mind to follow. Thinking a certain way, positively or negatively, creates a pattern, a mental habit that slowly becomes you. Cultivate the habit of focusing your mind on the positives and the good things in life and you will develop into a person representative of those quality thoughts. Who you are right now is a result of your repeated thoughts over time. Like it or not, you are what you think. Words of wisdom for life number two. You are what you speak. Since people cannot read your mind, they judge you on what you say. The words that come out of your mouth define you and, to a very large degree, accurately represent who you really are. Yes, people can lie, but even a lie coming out of your mouth can define you as a liar, which may be exactly who you are. If you are not a liar, then always speak the truth. People will recognize who you are and who you are not based upon what you say. And as we stated in Words of Wisdom for Life number one, you are what you think. If you consistently think about being honest and truthful, then that is who you are and that is what you will speak. In other words, if you are honest at your core, you will never speak a lie. Learn these lessons taught by life and learn them well. The words you say and the way you speak them affects how others regard you. Words are powerful and those words can build a person up or tear a person down. What you say and how you say it controls how others see you. Your private thoughts and your public words are continuously creating your reality, the life you live. How you experience your American dream is a direct reflection of your thoughts, your words, and your actions. Never forget the power you have to control who you are and how you experience your life by way of your mental, vocal, and physical choices. As the true architect of your destiny, you are in control of your life. Remember, the words you use should always be words of wisdom about life that lift and inspire others. Words of wisdom for life at number three. Actions speak louder than words. You can think great thoughts and you can say great things, but in the end it only matters what you actually do. You've heard the saying, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. An intention is simply a thought to do something. A promise is just words committing to do something. But unless you take physical action, no good is done, no wrong is righted, and no real greatness is ever accomplished. You must do something. When you take the actions necessary to complete a task, there's a reward of satisfaction that comes with physical completion. For that is our very nature, to do something that is useful to others. The example you set will always speak louder than any wise words about life you might express. Say what you will, but your actions will always speak louder than your words. Words of wisdom for life number four. Provide value. In a commercial sense, you are only as valuable as the value you provide to others. But this principle can also be applied to your personal interactions as well. I believe we all have worth. That being said, no one wants to be around a destructive person. The quality and quantity of the people who seek you out to be with you and to talk to you is reflective of the value you provide to them. You must provide value. You must be useful. You see this in social media. 
If you provide useful and valuable content, more people will like, comment, and subscribe to you and your content. Likewise, if you make people feel good when they're around you, they will try to be around you more often. If they don't enjoy being around you, they will avoid being in your company. Notice the pattern we're laying down here. Think useful thoughts, say useful words, and do useful things. Things that provide value to others. This creates a more valuable and useful you. In this way, you'll always be welcome. Providing value is one of the most important lessons taught by life. This is another of the keys to successful life. If you desire to express true success, become a person who creates, designs, innovates methods, inventions, devices, or services that are needed and useful to others. Always provide value. Words of wisdom number five. Your reputation is worth more than gold. Who you truly are at your core is your character. That's what your reputation is built on. That's where your reputation comes from. If you're rotten to the core, that's your character and becomes your reputation. And once you get a reputation, good or bad, it sticks with you for a long time. Pay attention to how and what you think, say, and do. Your reputation depends on it. When you consistently think, speak, and act in ways that provide value, you will never have to worry because your reputation will be as good as gold. Wise words of wisdom about life number six. Know thyself. Now that you have a good reputation and character, it's time you noticed your goodness, your usefulness, your worth, and your value to others. It may be obvious to others the value you provide, but you too need to understand what you bring to the table. This knowledge goes directly to how you view yourself. Knowing who you are affects your confidence, your decision making, your outlook on life, and so much more. When challenges come, you will be more apt to deal with them quickly and successfully when you know what you're capable of and recognize your capacity to deal with the trials of life. It's important to know thyself. Words of Wisdom for Life number seven. Know your purpose in life. The best way to enjoy living your American dream is to do what you truly enjoy. By understanding who you are and what your gifts, talents, abilities, and skills are, you can pursue vocations, hobbies, interests, and being useful in the areas of your greatest attributes. Everyone loves to share their talents, and by sharing those talents, you become useful. That usefulness to others will give you the greatest hint as to your purpose in life. That's where you'll find your greatest joy, by sharing yourself and your talents with others and doing so in a way that provides value. Words of wisdom for life number eight. Take chances in life. Where there's no risk, there's no reward. And the greater the risk, the greater the potential reward. Now, I'm not saying throw caution to the wind, but I am saying that there are no guarantees in this life. No one will hand you the success you desire. You're going to have to go out there and earn it. And even then you may fail. Your path to success must begin with your step into the dark without knowing how that path's future will end up. It's a leap of faith. The key to success in life, you must take a chance. That applies to relationships, to business ventures, to investing, and so much more. But you can take calculated risks that make life fun and exciting and tilt the odds in your favor. Life should never be a crapshoot. Rather, life should be about taking well-planned chances to achieve the life you desire. No risk means no reward. Take a chance. Wise words of wisdom for life number nine. You have multiple destinies. You may find yourself saying, but I have a lot of things that I want to do in life. I have many interests. Which one should I focus on? My advice to you is to focus on the one that is the easiest and the most interesting to you. Prioritize your goals so that they complement each other. In other words, place each goal in an order that builds upon the success of the previous achievement. In this way, you can leverage your successes to even greater heights. You have many destinies in this life. Each new destiny builds upon your most recent accomplishment. Each new accomplishment prepares you for your next success. 
Leveraging prior successes helps you achieve the next goals more quickly and propels you from one destiny to another. An airline pilot may have several destinations to which he would like to go, but he doesn't try to fly to all of them at once. He plans several legs of his journey. After he reaches the first destination, he then charts a path to the next one, and the next one, and so on, until he reaches his final destination. This is how you should be planning your American dream. Plan on visiting each one of your desired destinies in their proper order and at their proper time. Trying to achieve too many destinies at once will get you nowhere, and nowhere is not a destination. The desires of your heart are many, and they should not be mutually exclusive. You have a destiny, and that ultimate destiny is made up of many smaller destinies. There is an order to the universe, and you must make sure there is an order to your life. That's the path of fulfilling all your American dreams. You have your whole life to achieve those desires. Pick your most burning desire and include the lesser destinies as highlights or mile markers along the way. Your ultimate destiny is real and far beyond what you might imagine. To achieve your ultimate destiny, you must achieve the lesser destinies along the way. You must progress from destiny to destiny. Words of wisdom about life number 10. Use failures as stepping stones to success. We all suffer defeat, but if you're wise, you'll learn from those mistakes and use them to move you toward your destination. Many times, the process of moving forward is falling down and getting up again. The important thing to remember here is to fall forward. It's still progress. That's the mindset you must develop. That's the mindset successful people have. Failure is just another learning experience. The more failures you have, the more experience you gain. And the more experience you gain, the more wisdom you acquire. And the more wisdom you acquire, the more success you experience. These are the lessons for life. This is how you learn. If you never fall down, if you never make a mistake, if you never fail, you're not trying hard enough. You're not gaining the experience you need. This goes back to the word of wisdom for life number eight. Take chances, try something new, get out of your comfort zone and possibly fail. And then use that failure as a stepping stone to greater success. Words of wisdom number 11, forgive others quickly. Just as you will make mistakes in life, so will others as they pursue their dreams. It is so much better for you to quickly forgive another and move on than to dwell on it for weeks and months on how you feel you were wronged. This drags you down and sucks energy away from what you really want, to live your dream life. Let go of grudges and gripes and free yourself of that weight and distraction. This is another one of those critical lessons taught by life. By forgiving others quickly and sincerely, both parties benefit and you may even gain a dear friend rather than lose one. Forgive others quickly. Words of wisdom for life number 12. Be grateful and express it often. Remember these words of wisdom about life. You are what you think, say, and do. If you want to be grateful, think grateful thoughts and express gratitude to others. Why would this be an important lesson for life? When you express gratitude, you acknowledge the worth of another. This sincere appreciation reaffirms to your own mind that others have value and that you're not the only important person in life. This fosters your own humility while raising another's self-worth. When you're grateful, you're humble. The truly great men and women in life are genuinely humble. Humility is a key ingredient to a receptive and teachable mind. If you think you know it all, you're not in the proper mindset to learn from another. And if you're too proud to acknowledge and thank another for contributing to your success, then you're not humble enough to learn the keys to a successful life. It all starts with gratitude. Always have an attitude of gratitude. Express gratitude daily to God, family, friends, loved ones, and even those you meet on the street. If you're not feeling grateful enough to express your appreciation for others, then you're not fully living the American dream. Thank you for watching these 12 tips to be successful in life. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button, and if you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. We're living the American dream, and we hope you are too.